What's up guys? So one of my neighbors was just gonna throw this away. It's a Kryptonics Walmart penny board. So today I'm gonna try to skate it and compare it to my regular skateboard. I'm kind of scared to drop in with this thing, honestly. It's like a single roller skate. It's a little bit bigger than my foot. So let's examine this. The wheels look pretty good. They're really soft. Just regular cruiser longboard wheels. The deck is tiny. It's probably 20, 24 inches. Probably even smaller than that. The grip tape is plastic little square nubs. It's got rusty bolts, so maybe they've left it out in the rain. And it's really flexy. I'm about 200 pounds and it flexes a lot when I stand on it. This thing is going to be really hard to skate. I'm going to try to drop in and do a rock to fakie, but it's pretty scary. I was actually just in Lawrenceburg where there's this tiny little quarter pipe making this video about a different Walmart board. I probably should have tried this one out there too, because it's going to be kind of scary to do a rock to fakie on this ramp. This ramp's like five, six feet tall with a seven foot extension, so it's going to be a little harder. So I got the axle stall, but I'm honestly too scared to rock to fakie in that mini ramp with that board. So I'm gonna move over here to this little thing and try to do some tricks on that. The main reason why the rock to fakie is so scary on this thing is because the tail is really flexy. It's not like a stiff tail. So when I push on it, the board doesn't respond quickly. It's just really soggy. So now I'm going to try to do some flip tricks on this board and see if I can do any type of flat ground trick on it. So we'll start off with an ollie. Oh! Dark slide. So the ollie went okay. This is already a million times better than the other Walmart board I tested out because it hasn't broken yet. It's stronger and the wheels roll a lot better. I could have never done an axle stall with the regular Kryptonics skateboard from Walmart. So it's actually not hard to do tricks on this board. It's really easy to kickflip. It's just hard to ride. It's hard to land on because it's so small. But as far as flipping the board, it's really easy to do flip tricks on this board. So when I say that, I mean it's really easy to flip, but it's really hard to land on because it's so small. Being skinny like this, it flips great for kickflips. You could probably do like a quadruple flip with this if you try it all day. I really want to tray flip it. So the secret to doing flip tricks on this board is you have to barely flick it because it spins really fast. So a lot of those tray flips it's doing tray doubles. So I just have to barely flick. So all in all, this is much better than any other Kryptonics board I've ever skated. The wheels and trucks are great. It flips really easy. It rolls really good. 
but it is extremely hard to land on because it is so small. It would be good for a small kid though to learn. Here's a comparison with my regular skateboard to show you how much smaller this board is. Now I'm gonna do some tricks on my regular board just to compare. I was surprised at how big my regular board felt after being on that board. It felt totally different. I'd gotten used to it, so it felt like a long board. One great thing about this skate park is all the shade. I love this mini ramp. I'm gonna do a top five skate parks in Kentucky and maybe one for Ohio as well. And I'm putting this skate park on there on number five just because of this mini ramp. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.